Guys, we know pretty early what August is gonna look like in Pokemon Go, what to expect, raid bosses, spotlight hours, all that stuff. So let's hop right into it because I'm sure you guys are curious how the last month of the summer is gonna go. First of all, from now until August 3rd, we're gonna see Tornadus in the incarnate form in raids, as we already know. That will then switch into Moltres August 3rd to August 12th, switching then into Thunderous in the incarnate form from August 12th to August 21st, finally switching into Xerneas from August 21st to September 3rd. Do note all the five-star raids will start and end at 10 a.m. and none of the these legendaries will know their legacy moves when caught from raids, which kind of sucks. However, each of them will have a raid hour, as you can see on screen, with Moltres 1 on August 7th, Thunderous on August 14th, Xerneas on the 21st, and on the 28th. Again, raid hour is just 6 to 7 p.m. More of these raids will be appearing. Now, Mega Raids. Obviously, from now until August 3rd, we are going to see Mega Aggron in raids. That will then switch into Mega Aerodactyl from August 3rd to August 12th, switching then into Mega Kangaskhan from August 12th to August 21st, finally switching into Mega Salamence the 21st of August to September 3rd. Not the worst Megas to see back, but definitely would want to see some other stuff. As far as Shadow Legendary Raid, Shadow Suicune will be the one returning on weekends during August. You can um, take down Shadow Suicune in Shadow Legendary Raids. Okay, Spotlight Hours. Every single Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m., we see a certain Pokemon in Spotlight Hour with a bonus. The Spotlight Hours for this month are going to start off with Drillbur on August 6th with a bonus of 2 times Catch XP. A great one there. Lilip will be on August 13th with 2 times Catch Candy. Mankey will be returning Spotlight Hour August 20th with 2 times Transfer Candy. That's a great one to play, honestly, because Annihilate is so good right now, and two times transfer candy, which we always wait for, and then Magnemite on August 27th with two times Evolve XP. Honestly, not a bad bunch of spotlight hours this month. Finally, this with other events for the month, starting off with Adventure Week going down August 2nd to the 12th. Should be a pretty good event. We should be getting news about that soon. Usually Adventure Week is a great event during the summertime. Then August 8th to August 12th is going to be the Adventure Week Taken Over event. So yes, probably a Team Go Rocket event being introduced here. We haven't seen one of these in a long, long time, and that's going to go along with a Shadow Raid weekend August 10th to 11th. Most likely Shadow Lugia is going to be returning because that was in the trailer for the season. So get ready for a fun Shadow Raid weekend and Team Rocket Takeover event. We could definitely see Shadow Rayquaza coming to Pokemon Go because we just had Groudon and Kyogre. So theoretically Rayquaza could be coming. Anyway, that will then go into August 16th to the 20th, the 2024 Pokemon Go World Championships and Go Battle Week Shared Skies event. So yes, an event about PvP going down with the um, worlds that's obviously going down in Honolulu during that weekend. Should be good event, especially if you need to stock up on some PvP Pokemon, because usually we get PvP Pokemon as spawns. August 18th will then be August Community Day Classic, which wasn't announced that we're getting this, so I'm not really sure what this is going to end up being, but looks like we're getting an August Community Day Classic, a little surprise event. Who knows what it could be? Beldum? Maybe? Maybe? Who knows? August 23rd to the 30th will then be the Triumph Together event. This seems like the end of season event, the final event of the season, but then we'll have on August 31st, August Community Day, which has been confirmed to be Pop Leo. Yes, Pop Leo finally getting its calm day, so all of the Gen 7 starters are finally done, which is great. And it's definitely gonna make Poplio a little bit better in uh, Pokemon Go. As always, guys, I will be dropping tips and videos about all these events. If you enjoyed this video, watch the one below and let me know what you think about August events in Pokemon Go. Are you gonna be skipping this month? What events will you be playing? Honestly, I'm just excited for a Team Rocket takeover to be coming back because it's been so long. This video is coming as always. We'll see you in the next one. Follow for tips. Peace.